Are you looking for the best auto-leveling 3D printers? In this video, we will look at some of the 4 best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Anycubic Cobra. The Anycubic Cobra is the cheapest 3D printer with a self-leveling bed around and a thrifty way to get all the time-saving benefits at a price that won't scare away 3D printing novices. Launched in early 2022, it's a machine designed to make 3D printing easier for newcomers by removing the more hands-on aspect of setup and tinkering. Anycubic has equipped the Cobra with its in-house developed MeshPoint ABL 3D printing system, the LeviQ. It measures the bed at 25 distinct points, stores the data, and adapts the printing process to mitigate surface inconsistencies. We had the chance to spend some quality time with the Cobra, and we couldn't have been more impressed with the Levi Q system. The probe automatically levels the bed in just a few minutes with a single click. You can also fine-tune the offset on the fly to get those flawless layers, thanks to an easily accessible setting in the intuitive display UI. Elsewhere, the Anycubic Cobra has features we've rarely seen at this price. There's a smart direct drive extruder, Anycubic Excellent Coarse PI coated removable magnetic bed, and a well sized 220 by 220 by 250 mm build volume, all housed in a compact machine that won't take up too much space. Specifications are one thing, but the Anycubic backs them up with solid quality prints out of the box. As with most budget printers, there's some software tinkering involved to get the very best results, but once there, the Anycubic positively sings when fed PLA, TPU, and PTG. In many ways, the Anycubic Cobra has redefined what we should expect from low-cost printers and, for our money, is hands down the best 3D printer under $300 currently on the market. At Number 2. Flash Forge Adventurer 3 Lite. If you've got younger kids that you want to get involved in 3D printing, the Adventurer 3 Lite is perfect. It's enclosed, so it keeps any curious child's hands safely locked away from the nozzle while printing, with this enclosure also benefiting your prints as you can more effectively control the temperature and reduce warping. The FlashForge Adventurer 3 Lite is one of the cheapest 3D printers with auto-leveling, another feature that makes it ideal for beginners or kids, letting you skip all the hassle and get straight to the fun printing. The removable heated bed makes it easier to remove prints after printing, and despite its appeal as a basic, easy-to-use printer, it can still print tougher filaments like PETG. It also comes with a filament runout sensor, switching off automatically in the event of a power cut or similar failure, pausing your print so you can resume without ruining your model, and it's very quiet, so it won't disturb you too much if you're working or relaxing in the same room. At Number 3. Anycubic Viper. Another low-priced self-leveling 3D printer, the Anycubic Viper's one-click auto-leveling system automatically adjusts based on the data gained from each of 16 different points across the print bed to optimize printing. Despite the large build volume, it's a compact printer that doesn't take up too much space, and when we recently tested the Anycubic Viper we were impressed with the print quality. Though we didn't run it too fast, Anycubic say that with the Viper's new fan cooling system you can print faster without a noticeable loss in print quality at up to 100 mm per second. The new 32-bit motherboard and control chip makes it more powerful than previous Anycubic 3D printers, making for better precision and quieter printing. The large 4.3-inch touchscreen is a nice bonus, and the UI is easy to use to get printing and change each setting. Another great feature is the new and improved double gear extrusion system within the extruder, making flexible filaments like TPU easier to print and prevents tangling, and also makes standard PLA printing more reliable. Overall, we were impressed when we tested the Anycubic Viper, and if you're looking for a high-quality 3D printer that auto-levels for a good price, this could be the one for you. At Number 4. Ender 3S1-S1 Pro. Emerging from one of the longest-running and best-selling 3D printing legacies, the Ender 3 S1 is the new, more sophisticated version of the Ender 3, with two versions, the Ender 3 S1 and S1 Pro, with subtle differences. In our review of the Ender 3 S1 Pro, we noted how Creality has gone to considerable lengths to make the printer a tinker-free, set-and-forget incredibly welcoming to beginners, and improved a number of key areas. 
Both the Ender 3 S1 and S1 Pro have key upgrades, such as automatic bed leveling, a first for the Ender 3 family. Creality has used its self-developed BL Touch lookalike, the CR Touch. It measures 16 points across the bed to provide the printer with all the data needed to compensate for different surface heights and deliver optimal printing. Unlike some automatic bed leveling systems, the CR Touch keeps its calibration sharp and trim even after multiple prints. Of course, you could always buy an Ender 3 for dirt cheap and install a CR Touch yourself. It would be a viable option if it weren't for the stacks of extra features found on the S1. The Sprite Dual Gear Direct Drive Extruder is worth mentioning, as is the fantastic PC Spring Steel Sheet, sleek LCD, extremely quiet 32-bit motherboard, and a larger 270mm maximum print height versus 250mm on the Ender 3. Not only does it feature auto bed leveling, it's also very accurate and precise, example print of a cat on the right, and very quiet, we measured it to be 36 dB in our test on the left. The Ender 3 S1 does cost more for all these upgrades, so whether the extra features are worth the additional spend comes down to budget and convenience. The Ender 3 is still one of the top budget picks, but you'll have to invest time, effort, and money to spruce up to anything comparable to the Ender 3 S1. And if you're deciding between the S1 and S1 Pro for an auto-leveling 3D printer under $500, this really depends on what you want to print. The S1 Pro has an all-metal direct drive extruder that can reach 300 degrees Celsius, so if you want to print high-temp filaments like nylon or PC, absolutely go for the S1 Pro. If not, you might be fine with the standard S1. It's also worth noting that the brand new Ender 3 Neo range also now come with auto-bed leveling, so it's more a question of whether you want the other upgrades on the S1 range.